Hi guys, Assalamualaikum. Today I'm going to share with you guys five important apps that you need to have in New Zealand. Uh, actually, you can travel in New Zealand uh, by yourself, but you need to have at least these five application in order for you to survive New Zealand. One, Campermit. This is an amazing app. I think everyone needs to have Campermit. Of course, there's a lot of other application that you may install, but I think Campermit is the most user-friendly one to me. Dalam Campermit, dia akan tunjuk dekat dekat kurang. Where is your next toilet? Where is your next groceries? Where is your next petrol station? You can also check uh, about your accommodation there. Uh, what are the lease of the uh, campgrounds? Where to get free campgrounds? Where to get paid campgrounds? So everything is listed in that app. So if you want to travel to the north or to the south island, so make sure you have campermit. Second important app is Waze. I know everyone use Waze for navigation, but there is another thing that Waze can do for us is price comparison. As you all know, if you travel to New Zealand, the price of the oil, the price of the fuel will differ from one day to another and they also have different price for every petrol station. So, it is best that you can know the price of the petrol station first before you go there because you mesti lah you nak harga yang lebih murah kan. So, what you can do is you go to Waze and you check in Waze, dia akan tunjuk tau berapa harga minyak pada hari tersebut. You can compare mobil harga dia berapa waktu tu, Caltex harga dia berapa. So, bila you dah tahu harga mana satu yang lebih murah, barulah you pergi. So, you can save a lot of money there. Third important apps in New Zealand is Booking.com. Of course, you can also use Agoda. But I discovered that Booking.com is more user-friendly. Uh, mana tadi I tidur White Horse Hill Campsite? No, there are three different campsites in New Zealand okay number one holiday park paid yang mahal so you ada access kepada kitchen dia second is uh, DOC pass three is free campground booking.com digunakan untuk book accommodation whether hostel holiday park uh, hotel the apartment everything will be listed in booking.com so you can check the price and also the availability on booking.com or if you are into houses you can check on Airbnb chimney chimney is it chimney tada fourth important app not actually an app this is actually a website but this is a very important website so you guys need to check this out bookme.nz www.bookme.nz this website give a lot of discount for all activities in New Zealand so if you are looking for any activities you want to do make sure you go to bookme.nz and check out the activities there because the price is way cheaper than in or you go to the website itself so it's going to be very expensive so in Book me, you can get all deals for at least 40-60% off from the actual price. So this is cheap. Fifth important app that you need to have is Klook. Klook also has exceptional deals for activities in New Zealand. So maybe you want to compare between Book me and Klook because there are some activities I discovered that Klook has better offer. So maybe you can compare. You must go to that cruise. Yeah. That cruise. So, but they are about you. Pergi tempat yang so magical, so mystical in Milford Sound. It's very beautiful. So, guys, uh, I hope this benefit you. If you like the video, don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe. If you like the video, don't forget to share, like, comment, share, like, and comment. So if you like the video, don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe. Share, comment, like. Hi, Bening. If you like the video, so if you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, share. Yeah, you have to share first, like, and then comment, or you have to. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching.